Hello, YouTube. Why is FIFA here? Coming at you today with a fifth episode of my Fiorentina career mode. I remember last video I did not ask you guys a question that I had to have answered in the comments below, so I'm going to ask you a two-part question today. So first off, foot and FIFA is coming to an end, so I want you guys to let me know who was your favorite player to use on foot or in career mode, and then secondly, who is the player you're looking forward to try out the most next FIFA? It could be someone that's gotten a massive upgrade or a new player to the game, but you didn't really miss much on the screen. I just went over the table and the top scores. We have had a little bit of a poor run of form, but we come up against Roma. It's going to be a big game for us. We definitely need to get points off of them if we're trying to finish in the top three to get that qualifying for the championship. Champions League, really. Hopefully we can win the league, and if not, just qualify for the Champions League so we can win that next season. That is the goal. Hopefully I'll be able to get this career mode done by the next FIFA. I do have some new series that I have cooking that I want to take priority after that, especially the foot breakout squads as well as the uh, FIFA Let's Prepare for FIFA 17 that's coming out. I'm really excited about that. But you see here we get the game started off with a penalty from Manolois, great little Greek center back who I'm actually looking forward to trying out in the next FIFA as well. I think he could be a really good option for a starter team, although he probably will have a lot of pace, so he might be a little bit on the more expensive side. But I will go into more foot detail in the new series. Right now, it's for career mode. So, like I said, trying to get these points off of Roma. Last episode, I was having a terrible time trying to score, but it was started off here, and it was started off well, although we were a little shaky there, and they get through here, but they honestly, when the computer goes down to 10 men, either two things happen. Either they get, it seems they get a ridiculous zap boost and just boss the possession and pass it around the back and then you end up with a draw or you just run rampant on them and we'll see how that goes and we already have our second so it looks like it's going to be the latter. I, at this point, I was just trying to score as much as possible. Last episode, I was sorry for the goal drought but this one you're going to see. I play this game against Roma. We got a simulated game coming up as well. And then finally, and one more played episode. But I try to keep these videos short for you guys so it's not too drowned out. We make some subs here just to get some uh, new flesh players, and I thought I'd let you guys see that. However, that is pretty much the last kick of the game. And now we're into some training, trying to get these players boosted. Hopefully, I really like this mechanic. Hopefully, they continue to add stuff like this to career mode. I would like for them to have maybe even like a full youth squad play, like, like play against each other, how they have in real life. A team such as Chelsea or Liverpool have their U23 or U21s and U18s, and they play against each other. I think that'd be a, a really interesting feature that they could add so that the players get continual growth instead of only being able to pick out five, which is good. It's better than what it was before, but at the same time, if you want to try to develop your youth players, you're sacrificing what you have on your regular team, so it doesn't really work out in the end. Take a look at the table. We're climbing the table now. We start. We were in the middle of the table. We're climbing slowly but surely. If we get some points off of teams like Hellas Verona, then we can get really climbing up in the table. We're trying, like I said, we're trying to get in that top three spot, and we get a nice win against Hellas Verona. When I come up against teams like this on the lower side, I'm going to try to simulate them. Sometimes I like to play it, but simulating away is also always difficult, so try to be wary of that. I go through here real quick, just trying to find the perfect balance of health and player potential like overall. Because I know that I can't always play these players. Because if they go, if they drop down in fitness, then they drop down in performance, and it's always tough. And they get more injury prone. And at this point, we cannot afford to lose anybody else, especially after Borja. But we get up a, ga a game against Frisione. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But another team that just got promoted last year wasn't really that much of a threat, so I'm going to simulate this game as well, and I'll let you guys watch it. We'll watch it together. I think I know how this one turns out, but as you see here, nothing really happens. It's always weird to see the yellow cards pop up. We get a goal there, but they get a goal back, and it's not looking good for us, although we get rescued. Ilicic, the man of our hour, giving us a little rescue, and we're going to go into the last game. We're coming down to the last game of the series and we're coming down to the wire in the Europa League we are in a pretty commanding position though so it does look like we'll be able to go through which is always nice I, I'm i not sure though if we win the Europa League if we get a Champions League spot like in real life but that would be kind of a cool thing for the FIFA to add in as well I'm really looking forward to doing a FIFA in FIFA 17 career mode and FIFA 17 talking really fast at this point but I 
going to start with uh, FC Crotone. They just got promoted from the Serie B to the Serie A. I just really enjoy the Italian league. I think it's not overdone like the BPL, but at the same time, I definitely will get involved in the BPL if that's what people want to see. Again, this is a subscriber-based channel, and if you guys want to check out my subscribe squad Sunday, that's a new video I just came out with for foot, definitely go ahead. And this game was extremely frustrating midfield battle. Nothing was going on. And the video is coming to a close here. Look out for part six, uh, maybe this weekend. But I'm going to come out with the new foot videos, breakout stars, and let's prepare later in the week. It's Ben Wise FIFA. Like and subscribe. Stay wise.